Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. That's right. The Spirit inspires innuendos, rumors, and lies, and slanders, and manipulations, controlled by creating schisms and isms, and threatenings in the body. Yes. People are deceived by lawlessness, do not understand that by rejecting God's law, they are led into even greater licentiousness and enslavement to sin. It's like, you know, once you start it, you get a taste, your flesh get a taste for that. And in, in, in the, come on, the desire becomes bigger. It's kind of hard. You, you're gonna have to, you know, in order to, to please that, you got to have a little bit more yeah. lawlessness, yeah. more rebel. Yeah. So when lawlessness is practiced, it becomes easy and easier and easier to do it again and again and again because it makes it seem like that. Hey, it's, hey, look here, I, I'm, I'm, I got the authority. I'm doing it now. Yeah. Hmm? Lawlessness leads to more lawlessness. Or better term, workers of iniquity. Romans 6, 19 says, I speak after the manner of man because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your members' service to uncleanliness and iniquity unto iniquity, even so now you your members servants to righteousness unto mm-hmm. holiness. See, that's direction. Yes. Amen. That's right. You know, these key words in there. You know, key words, they change the whole meaning Amen. of the way that a natural man perceives that a verse of scripture may be going, a passage of scripture is going. Yeah. You may perceive it one way, but then that spirit man kicks in and says, Oh, look at that. You got a right to become the sons of God as long as you continue in His Word. Right. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, "If you continue in My Word, Amen. these are My disciples. They need not sit down the side of the road and take a siesta and then talk about that you're going to continue when you feel like it. Which, when lawlessness gets its root in you, you're going to dig some serious roots. Amen. It's going to tap into the well or the well of His Word." Start getting all this nutrition from it Amen. rather than God. Amen. Amen. Second Thessalonians 2 7 says, For the mystery of iniquity doeth all ready work. Amen. Don't think this is something in the past, something in the future. It's working right now. Amen. The mystery of lawlessness. I mean, doesn't it confound people all the time? I don't know why. See, why? How can they do that? How the world can they go back on God like that? They know that that ain't God. Isn't that already working? Yes. Then they justify themselves and say, we are Christians. We are believers. And you're saying, well, how can they do that? There's no way that they can walk like that in that way. That's what lawlessness does. It's a mystery. The new law already worked. Only he who now never will get to be taken out of the way. Now, 2 Corinthians 7 1. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. They would always have you believe today that you don't need to have anything to cleanse yourself from. And they will Bible tell you, know, we got our cleansing. Amen. Like Brother Joseph was talking about this morning. We got a lot of cleansing to do. Yeah. Oh, God saved us. Then, you know, a lot of, you know, there's this unspoken doctrine out there that once you've been saved, that God cleaned up everything in your life. No, He didn't. No, He didn't. No, He, didn't. No, he did not. Amen. That's the truth. Amen. God saved your soul. But the cleansing of your body, that's left up to you. Amen. 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 That's right. Let's get spiritual for a moment, okay? If a man commits fornication, he sins against what? Divide. Thank you. Amen. 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 
does. The body wanted to pay for that sin. Now let me throw an oxymoron in for you. The spirit man cannot sin because his seed remains in him. Now try to get somebody to understand that. Uh oh. So all these folks telling you that you don't need no deliverance, that ain't what the scriptures are implying to tell you. Amen. That's probably the reason why the church smell like a septic tank today. Thank you. Amen. We got a bunch of feces floating inside the church that don't think they need cleaning. Uh, amen. Yeah. And you know how a septic tank smell when it hasn't been cleaned. That's right. Amen. So we got a bunch of so-called doo-doo that think it smells good. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Oh, amen. You're totally right. Amen. So what happens is a lot of people can sense that the doo-doo don't smell good. So it says, I tell you what, I'm going to jump out of the tank and I'm going to get outside the tank. And you know what I'm going to let the heat get me and I'm going to smell even worse. <laughs> and that just happens to be the people. Yes, sir. In their self-righteousness. Yes, oh, glory be to the King. Amen. So if you receive these doctrines of men, you're going to perish after the men. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds clear to me. Having therefore these promises, beloved, we got some promises, and boy, we have some awful good promises. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Let us cleanse ourselves. Right. You hear that? Let us cleanse ourselves. Yeah. From all filthiness of the flesh and the what? Spirit. So, so anyway, oh Master, I said and the spirit too. I thought he said the spirit man can't say it now. See, he's talking about another portion of the spirit right here. This has to be of you, which is your mind with emotions. Right? Yes. Yeah. What God saved in you that the Bible talks about your soul was the very breath. That's right. Amen. Of life. You got to keep telling you. You understand when people don't know what this says? Huh? The preacher is always the villain. Amen. Because there are lying vanities. That's the truth. That are ministering to the spirits of the mind. And it's interpreting everything its way. It always comes out in the fence whenever the word of God is being spoken. Amen. Right. Amen. That's the truth. Distorts everything pure. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's true. And, and we become defenders of that which will yeah. keep us Amen. messed up. Amen. Amen. That's right. Rather than falling on my face and saying, cleanse me. Amen. Oh, Amen. My Lord. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. And created me. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hmm? Amen. Amen. Jezebel is permitted because Ahab allows or he is afraid to oppose Jezebel. Now, since last week I spoke on Ahab, and I'll conclude this week with Jezebel and Ahab together, because you can't talk about Jezebel without Ahab. Right. Amen. Because Ahab is the reason why Jezebel exists. Now, remember, Jezebel wouldn't be if it wasn't for Ahab. Hmm? Now, a lot of people automatically assume when you mention Ahab, men, Jezebel, women. But let me tell you something. Let's go a little bit farther. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jezebel, the spirit of Jezebel, and the spirit of Ahab, even though they are literal beings that existed at one time, they have since evolved into the spirit. Mm -hmm. I didn't say they become. You just understand my speech. There are spirits that were controlling them yeah. that now are working mightily. In this world. Right. And we're going to see them through their influence and spirit of people. Amen. See, the reason why Satan don't like me talking continually on stuff like this is because it continues to expose the things that people have to constantly deal with all the time. But then they'll sit in darkness when they see that light. Yes. 